or welcome to my channel you guys so today i am back with another hair video back with the wig videos did y'all miss them because i kind of miss doing them but anyway today's video is sponsored by ash mary hair they were kind of to see me over this pink bone straight 20 inch 13 by 4 lace frontal unit and 180 percent density and y'all know i love me some pink so y'all know i had my fun with this one i tried to do this cute little 90s hairdo with the little bantu knot i don't know i really don't know y'all let me know what y'all think about it but i just feel like it didn't turn out like the picture that i was referencing but anyway i got tired of it y'all will see that in the install portion and styling i was getting fed up like i was over it but I think it turned out pretty cute. Y'all see I got my little outfit on, the airbrush. I just took pictures and I'm finna do a few TikToks. Y'all go like those and follow. Follow your girl on Instagram and TikTok. And yeah, anyway, I'm finna start rambling. We're gonna jump right into the video. Y'all know the drill. We're gonna start with the unboxing. Then we're gonna get into the install and styling portion. And then I will give y'all my review on this unit. So if you wanna see all of that, then keep on watching. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna be installing my wig as usual, same routine that I always do. Y'all should know the drill by now. If you don't, you either haven't been paying attention at all or you're new here. If you're new here, subscribe, girl, what are you doing? But yeah, like I said, I'm not here to explain my wig installs. They're pretty self-explanatory, so you should be able to follow along just by watching here. But if you do want an in-depth tutorial on how I install my wigs, just let me know in the comments below. It has been a while since I've done one of those, so it's probably time for an updated video on that because there are a few things different since i last did a video like that but anyway i was just here to let y'all know that i will be here to explain the styling portion of this video i know i normally don't talk during the install and styling portion so i just wanted to come on here and let y'all know that i will be popping up a little bit later just so i don't startle you when i pop up on here but yeah i just wanted to come on here and let y'all know that just so i don't just show up out of nowhere and y'all be like you know where'd you come from so yeah when you hear me pop up a little later on it's me don't be startled okay okay Thank you. 
all right y'all it's me again for the first part of this style i just parted down the middle to part out these two sections in the front i just did like a, a little slight curve shape to it um for the two pieces in the front and then i'm taking my wax stick to slick all the hairs and little flyaways back and the section i'm holding forward and then i'm just hot combing everything into place and going in the direction that the hair is supposed to go if that makes sense All right, so I clipped those two pieces out of the way and now I'm going to be working on the half up, half down part of this style. So to do the half up part, I am parting right by my ear and then I also part out sections for the edges. Excuse me, can I please talk to you for a minute? Uh-huh. Sure, you know, you look kind of familiar. Yeah, you do too. Now I'm taking my comb and just combing everything up and taking my wax stick to again slick down those flyaways and make sure the hair is nice and flat and slick when I take this hot comb to it. So I'm taking the hot comb and again going in the direction that the hair is supposed to go so like an upwards direction where the ponytail is supposed to sit. And then I took some got to be spray and sprayed that on there and I'm just taking my red tail comb and combing that through. Then I took a rubber band, tied that around, and, you know, made a little ponytail. Y'all know how to do a half up, half down. But, yeah. Right here, I'm just cutting down where the sideburns are supposed to be. They was just in the way, so I just had to cut them down real fast before I start straightening them to get them out of the way because it was getting on my nerves. Don't mind where my lace is too dark right here on the sides. Don't just ignore that. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I wrapped the ponytail out of the way, the half up section, so I can start straightening the half down section. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. Y'all know how to straighten hair, I hope so. Um, I don't think I need to explain that. I just take my little rat tail comb and chase with my Babyliss Pro Titanium Flat Iron. I'm gonna be doing that on every section, be straightening everything, and then we'll get started on these little aggravating Bantu knots.
All right, so for the fun part, I took the Got To Be Gel in the black bottle. And what you do is take a little section, put that gel on the section, and you just twist in either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, it don't matter. But you just keep on twisting until you see like the hair kind of coil up on itself. So yeah, you just keep doing that and then pin it in place. Leave out a little section that you see like I did at the end. I just leave out a little bit of hair to have like sticking out. I don't coil up the whole little section. But yeah, I just did like three or four small ones. But yeah, my arms got tired, y'all. And I was getting irritated and frustrated because I wanted them to sit a certain way. And like, you know, it was just getting on my nerves. So yeah, but I just did a few of these and pinned it. And I put some more gel on like the ends that are sticking up or sticking out or whatever to make it all spiky looking. But that's really how you do those little pieces. You just keep twisting until it coil up on itself. That's really it. I did that, like I said, a few times. And then the two sections that are like, you see the two sections that are out, the longer sections that are out. I did end up doing bantu knots on both of those sections on each side i just left out more hair so it looked a little bit longer than the other pieces so yeah that probably made no sense at all i just i don't know i, I hope you got it Alright y'all, so that was the unboxing, install, and styling portion. I'm going to give y'all my review on this unit. Like I said, y'all know I love me some pink, so it already got extra points for that. But let's start with my number one issue with wigs, which is whether it's big head friendly or not. And she is big head friendly. I didn't struggle at all. I literally pulled it right on. and No issues, no fighting, no tugging, nothing. So she is big head friendly. The lace, easy to melt. As y'all can see, easy to work with. I did pluck this unit also a little bit. I think I did a pretty good job with it. I usually be struggling with like blonde or colored units plugging because like the hair don't want to come out or something but I think it turned out pretty good. I didn't do too much. The hairline was actually really nice like by itself like straight out the package but you know I always like do a little plucking, customize my hairline so every now and then. But yeah, she's big hair friendly. Lace is easy to work with. Definitely giving 13 by 4. It was 13 ear to ear. It touched both of my ears and my 4 inches back so we love that y'all know how some of these companies be playing with them 13 inches going ear to ear don't be touching your ears but that's not an issue with this unit the density 180 density is a little on the thinner side for me y'all know i don't do thin y'all know we don't do that so i switched to a little bit thicker i probably would get the 250 density because they do have that option so i would probably go for that rather than 180 but i think it's like you know it's okay but y'all know i like my hair really full so yeah the length 20 inches i think it's giving 20 inches let me get up and y'all can see for yourselves do a length check so this is where it stops at on me. I'm 5'3", so it's like right at my waist pretty much. So yeah, I think it's even 20 inches. So pass the link check test. The only issue I really had with this unit is the shedding. I know blonde hair and color hair usually sheds a little more than 1B or like even brown units. But yeah, that's really my only issue other than the density with this unit. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. I really don't have too much else to say. I really like it though. Like I really like how the style came out for the most part. You know, I was getting a little frustrated with it, but I still think it's really cute, especially with my whole outfit and when I dress it up real cute and all that. So I think it turned out pretty cute. And the hair is actually really soft. I forgot to mention that. The hair is really soft. Y'all know color hair can be a little iffy sometimes if you feel like doll hair and straw, but the hair is really soft, really flowy. So yeah, overall, I'm going to give this unit an 8 out of 10. Like I said, I only had an issue with the density and the shedding. So 8 out of 10, which is still pretty good. If you want to purchase this unit for yourself, the link will be down in 
the description box below and be sure to check down there for a coupon code as well because there might be one that usually is and yeah thank you again to ash mary here for sponsoring this video i definitely had my fun with this unit and y'all i love how these pictures came out i did a few tiktoks y'all just go like the pictures and the tiktoks okay but yeah that's all i got to say well that is it for this video you guys hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl channel please and thank you and make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when i post because you don't want to do that you don't want to do that i'm back so make sure your post notifications are on and i will see y'all in my next video bye